And I don't know what I was thinking. I went shopping um, the day of the Super Bowl and uh, to pick us up some snackies. We did a real low-key yeah. Super Bowl party. Well, to be fair, we weren't expecting to have to. Right. So my fa- my parents usually throw a big Super Bowl party. This year they didn't because everyone in their household had COVID. And I cannot leave. Like, I can't miss any other days. Like, I've got so much to do. I can't be down and out. So I was like, all right, you guys stay there, which I was already so sad about because my mom makes these little smokies that'll knock your socks off. Does she use the, um, wait a minute, what's the recipe? Half barbecue sauce, half grape jelly? No. Oh. She does brown sugar, baby, and it's oh. so good. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, um, so she... You know, she didn't do those this year. I was planning on going to their house for Super Bowl all week long. And then they're like, hey, we have COVID. Sorry. So we couldn't. And so I was like, oh, okay. well, you know, maybe we can hang out with one of my friends or something or go to their Super Bowl party. And then my friend ended up getting, uh, I think, the uh, strep throat. That's what it was. She got strep. And so we couldn't go over there. So we had to throw together our own little two-person Super Bowl party it, on a whim. <laughs> it was kind of bizarrely pathetic, you know? Right. I almost felt like I didn't want to run into anybody I knew, and I never do at right. Winco. It's the weirdest thing. Which is so nice. Everybody I know shops at Winco, and mm-hmm. I've never seen any of them there. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just when I go, but I got a cheese ball the size of my fist. Oh, and it was so good too. <laughs> it was just a teeny little bit. Pathet- and I got mm-hmm. one box of crackers, mm-hmm. exactly 12 shrimp. Yeah. One <laughs> lemon, Didn't some cocktail more. <laughs> sauce. It was just, if anybody had seen me there, they'd be like, oh, poor bastard. <laughs> yeah. They think that you were partying alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will say that we did have a mini, ca- a mini crock pot full of queso. And I think that is the one thing that Tostitos every Super Bowl queso. party has to have, you know? Yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So it didn't feel too pathetic. Oh, yeah. We had the dippins and yeah. everything. The shrimp were great. Oh, yeah. And you made those what wings else? that were great. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We did frozen wings and we it was the maiden voyage of your brand new virgin air fryer. Yes. With the double barrels. Oh, that's so oh. hot. Oh, man. I know. What I brand know. is it? Oh. Whatever it is, it's good. It might be Kenmore. I almost like it, almost like it better than my Ninja 5 and one I mean, it's pretty badass. I really, I really yeah. like my air fryer. I need to use it more. And, and frozen wings are so easy in an air fryer. Like, mm-hmm. I think the default for most air fryers is 390 or 400. Mm-hmm. You take the frozen wings. Take these frozen <laughs> wings. <laughs> How about that new E Trade baby commercial in the Super Bowl? Oh, it was so gross! I hated it. <laughs> I just it I hate, still freaks me out. I don't like out. talking baby. They are not supposed to talk like that, and it's weird and uncanny, and it's not cool. And also, screw you, E Trade. Right. That was one of those one of those companies I had to deal with after the fact, after a short sale of my home in Milwaukee in '08. Mm-hmm. That like came along, and then you know, it just nothing pisses me off more than seeing those people advertise E Trade and Wells Fargo. I hear uh, that stuff all the time. Right. Wells Fargo has donated over sixty million. Yeah, because you got a bailout from the government after royally fucking us. Right. Honestly, it makes me so. I'll try to tone it down. <laughs> it's fair. It's fair. Um, it, you know, it just bothers me that they can just like sell your debt. Without consulting you. So weird. You don't have to agree to anything. You never did business with the company. Right. Yeah. Like, I chose this person specifically to go into debt with because <laughs> I liked them as a company. I don't know who you are. Right. Why do you get to control my debt? How right. dare you? Ew. Hate it. Like, there should be <laughs> some kind of rule against that. So, you know? where, where were we? Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Um, E-Trade Babies, you, okay, wait. Broken Wings. It's so easy to make frozen wings in the air fryer because you just do them for 10 minutes, take them out, put them in a bunch of olive oil and seasoning, stick them back in for 10 minutes. Very good. Other favorite Super Bowl commercials. The Pluto TV couch potato commercial. Yeah, you dug that. That was so Idaho. It's so Idaho. <laughs> it was so great. Yeah. We grow couch potatoes. and In fact, I mean, I wonder... If, I mean, can we Google Pluto TV couch potato costume? Because I oh. would I would go as that at Halloween. That's funny. I like that. It seems A, warm, and B, able to accommodate my newly fat belly <laughs> that I've got. And then there was- Is it because you've been a couch potato? Yes. <laughs> Mostly Happens. sedentary all winter long, and we'll get to that. <laughs> the reason I'm putting the word winter in finger quotes. Why? 
Well, but, right, to not white. It has not been a very white winter. It hasn't. But the <laughs> other one were the, the the Jesus commercial commercials were pretty memorable to me too. Those ones took me by surprise. I wasn't really expecting them. And also, I'm going to be a jerk and just point out those are not cheap commercials to buy. They bought several of them. You could have spent the 20 million dollars on feeding the homeless. Yeah. Yeah. You could like, have given it some of that to the Idaho Falls rescue mission. <laughs> right. Like there I feel like that money could have been spent better. Yeah. At least one like here's the thing. You don't need two commercials in the Super Bowl. One is enough. And they did four? Yeah. Six? I don't they did know. Too many is it, what they did. It seemed like I saw quite a few. Yeah. And um but I did like the one and I immediately got it. You know, there's the story in the Bible of Jesus washing mm-hmm. somebody's feet? Yes. Mm-hmm. And does he use his hair to dry off the feet, or did no. I make that part up? No, so there is there is a story where a woman washes Jesus' feet and uses her hair to, oh. to clean them. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, they start washing feet, and I immediately got it, and it really touched me emotionally. I thought that was just fantastic. Yeah. You know, I think it's um, religion sort of pumps you up and imbues you with the spirit. And so it's easy as humans to get an ego. But the whole message of that ad was stay humble. Right. Be a servant. Don't don't judge others. Wash their feet. And I thought that was great. That is great. So it's funny that you say that, though, because there was this uh, Twitter or tweet. I saw this tweet. There was an X. There was an ex, <laughs> not my ex, just an ex, uh, <laughs> that posted something like, every time I went to church and we sang, I felt like I was feeling the spirit, and that's how I, like, that's what made me believe that God was real. And then I went to a One Direction concert, and then I realized that I really just liked live music. 